Hey, got a question here from one of our friends who has uh, what he calls social anxiety disorder. He says he wasn't diagnosed, but he, he struggles with being in social situations, uh, particularly for the past two to three years. What happens is he, he anticipates an engagement with someone and uh, his heart rate goes up, his hands get real sweaty, and then worst of all is his face turns bright red. And uh, it happens to him when he meets new people, so on and so forth. So th there are a couple things, a couple ideas that I'll share with you. The very first one is not to judge it. You know, I think most of our anxiety comes from what's happening in our body and our judgment placed on it. There's a moral judgment placed on what's happening in your body. What's happening in your body is never wrong, right? You're, you're, Autonomic nervous system doesn't fuck up. That's the part of your nervous system that makes your heart rate go up, that makes your eyes dilate, that's making your palms sweat, that gives you an erection, that makes your hair grow, that replaces cells in your body, that helps your food digest, that makes babies grow. It's, it's pretty freaking intelligent. And what it does is very intuitive. Right? If it senses something, it produces a response in your body. Either, you know, there are different types of responses. So that's not the point of this video. So what's happening is a lot of your anxiety, a significant portion of your anxiety is caused by you judging what's happening in your body. So I want you to recognize that first. Just recognize that it's your moral judgment placed on the brilliance of the response that your body's providing you that's giving you a lot of beef. And what you've got to do is just say, fuck it. It's not wrong. There's nothing wrong. I might not like it. I've come to, to see it as something that's inappropriate or, I do, you know, I, I just, I'm not in favor of it, but it is what it is. Be with it. That's the very first thing. Just be with it. Own it. Don't fight it. Just own it. And what you do in order to have that be the case is just, you know, think that way. It's mine. I'm owning it. This is just what's happening in my body. The second thing you've got to do is do, to completely detach from the opinions of other people. Because what's happening is, you know, your body's producing this response to what other pe how other people may be responding to you. So you're, you're going into a situation and the mind, it's all about the fucking mind. Your mind's fucking you. The mind's judging the body and it, the mind is also going into it, creating the situation by anticipating that person's response to you. So the second bit of advice or invitation I would offer you is to, even if you have to be vulgar in it, even if you have to kind of like separate yourself from people by saying, fuck everybody else, right? I'm not saying you've got to be a mean person, but you've got to convince yourself that it really doesn't give a fucking two shits. Like it does not matter what other people think of you. It really, really, really does not. I mean, bottom line, it does not matter what other people think of you, right? I mean, we, that, that's an entire conversation in and of itself, you know, and there could be great debate around it. But I'm offering you this because it's causing you problems to forget about the opinions of others. Those are the first two things. That's setting the groundwork, right? See, most people want a technique. They want a tip, right? Tip is what? Right at the top of the pyramid. I'm giving you the foundation. The foundation of that pyramid is what I just described, right? Is recognizing the moral judgment, recognizing other people's judgments and ignoring both. And then the tip, right? Because it all boils down to what's happening in your body. Your body's taking the form of whatever's happening below. You're going to cap it off by working to breathe deeper. Calm your energy down when you're about to approach someone in a situation. So number one, you're going in as a well-grounded and uh, self-appreciative person, respecting yourself. You're stepping in also, the next foot, saying it makes no difference what other people think of me. Not that I'm a hateful person or rebellious person towards them, I'm just detached. And third is the tip, is the technique. Focus on breathing into your belly. If you find that you start to rise, because this is what it is, it, it always is the case. Your energy starts to rise, right? Why do you think your face is turning red? Why do you think your face is turning red and your feet don't turn red, right? Right? Why don't your balls turn red, right? You might not know anyway, right? What do you do, peek in your pants? Why don't your knees turn red? Why doesn't your, your nipples turn red, right? What the fuck? Like, why is it your face turning red? Because all of your energy is completely rising. And it, and it can't go anywhere. Where is it going to go? The, your skull is literally the container for all of your energy. Where is it going to go? It's going to explode out of your head, right? That type of release would probably be something like crying or yelling or screaming. Ah! 
That's the only way the energy is going to be released from your face. But don't let it rise. Keep it down low. Notice if you're getting tense in your neck. Notice if you're getting tense in your face. Notice if you're getting tense in your chest. Notice if you're getting tense in your solar plexus, your belly, your hands, your legs, your butt. You're holding your butt cheek together. Notice all the muscles in your body and keep them relaxed. And then come back to your breath. Right? Even as that other person's talking, you're getting ready to say something to that individual. Speak slowly and speak from your balls. That's what I mean when I say this. I mean speak from a place of grounded energy. Bring your energy down into your belly. Take a deep breath. Relax your shoulders and breathe. I promise you that if you build the foundation that I described and use that breathing technique, you are going to be masterful in your approach, uh, your social situations with other people. So that's it, dude. Good luck. Elliot's sick. Elliot. What?